Hello and welcome students. Today we will learn about construction of triangles. First, let's begin with construction of triangle when three sides are given. Construct a triangle ABC with AB equals 6 cm, BC 4.8 cm and CA 5 cm. First, to draw a triangle we need a base. So let's take BC that is 4.8 cm here and let's draw the line segment 4.8 centimeter to get the base you can take any side as the base in this case we are taking BC as you are done write the measurements and label it Now we need the other two sides, so for that we will take side AB that is 6 cm and draw it to the right side separately in order to take the radius. So here we have our 6 cm, let us write 6 cm. and let's label it so that we remember that's ab then let's draw ca that is 5 cm write the measurements and label it c a and now with the help of the compass Let's take the measurement of AB, 6 cm, so we call it the radius, so we are taking the radius 6 cm using the line segment AB and now using this measurement we will cut an arc somewhere on the top. so that the other side also comes and meets with that arc. So let us take the measurement of CA make sure your measurements are accurate and then let us place this at C and cut an arc and you should have a point of intersection of the arcs so this is your point A or we can call it the vertex of triangle ABC. Now using the ruler and pencil align the two points A and B to get the side AB and using the points C and A to get the side AC let us join it. And now you know the measurement AB is 6 cm, so write down 6 cm and uh, CA or AC which is 5 cm, so write down 5 cm. So here your triangle ABC with side 6 cm, 4.8 and 5 cm is ready. Okay, next we will learn about construction of triangles when two sides and one angle is given. Let's do. Construct a triangle ABC with BC 4.8 cm, AB 5.7 and an angle B which is equal to 120 degree. So first to draw a triangle we need a base. So let's take BC which is 4.8 cm as the base. Now you can take any side as the base. In this case, we are taking BC. So here we have the line segment 4.8 cm. Let's write 4.8 cm and let's label it BC. So we have got the base BC ready. Now we know 
AC is 5.7 centimeter. So to draw that we have angle B there. So let's construct angle B using the compass. So you all know how to construct 120 degree. Take any appropriate radius and now cut an arc. And now from this point, let's cut an arc and let's double 60 that becomes 120 degree now using the point B and the point obtained above let's align and draw the line so this is your 120 degree which is angle B now we know AB is 5.7 centimeter so let's draw it so let's write 5.7 centimeter and that's AB now using the compass let's take the radius now we can even measure the radius 5.7 using the ruler but it's better uh, if you're able to do it using the line segment that we have just drawn now taking this radius 5.7 centimeter let's cut an arc from the point B on that line this is your point A let's write A and uh, we do an angle just now so let's mark this angle B which is 120 degree and now we are left with the third side so take from point A and from point C let's align it and join the line segment so here we have the third side and now we know AB is 5.7 so write down 5.7 centimeter and now we are done with the triangle with an angle and two sides And now let's construct a triangle when two angles and one side is given. Let's begin. Construct a triangle ABC such that BC is 6 cm, angle B 45 degree and angle A 75 degree. So first, to draw a triangle we know we need the base. Let's take the help of ruler and draw the base which is BC. 6 centimeter and let's write the measurement 6 centimeter and label it B and C now we have the base ready so let's construct the angles now we know angle B is 45 degree let's construct 45 degree using the compass take an appropriate radius and let's now cut an arc carefully you can take the help of other hand if you are not able to cut the arc using the left hand now you all know how to construct 60 degree so let's cut the arc to get 60 degree and now from here let's cut an arc to get 120 now we need 60 and 120 to get a 90 degree so let's cut an arc here from 60 and from the 120 degree point let's cut an arc and that point is the point where we'll have the 90 degree angle so let's join the point B and the point of intersection of the two arcs above 
let us use the dotted lines since uh, 90 degree is not the angle that is required we need 45 degree so with the help of 90 and 0 degree so from that point and this point let us bisect 90 so this is the 0 degree point so you can take any radius if you want now let us cut an arc from this 0 degree point here and then from the 90 degree point from the arc here and now we have the intersection of the two arcs now using the pencil and ruler and the point of intersection let us draw a line that goes through that point of intersection starting from B and this is your 45 degree now we are left with angle A which is 75 degree but we can see that there is no point A here so it means we have to think some alternative so if you recall the properties of triangle especially the angle sum property the sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degree now let's write here angle A equals to 75 degree you know that angle B is equal to 45 degree and angle C is unknown now using the angle sum property 180 degree minus the sum of 75 degree and 45 degree will give us the third angle that is angle C so let's write the sum of 75 and 45 that is 120 degree and 180 minus 120 degree will give you 60 degree so here we know that our angle C is equal to 60 degree so means we can construct 60 degree now using the compass let's put it at C and with an appropriate radius let's cut the arc you all know how to make 60 degree so from that point now let's cut an arc and here is our 60 degree point so using the ruler and pencil and the point where we have the 60 degree let's draw the line and let it intersect with the line we drew earlier and this point A now so by default you will see that angle A will become 75 degree and this angle that you drew just now is 60 degree so using the protractor let's check the angle A whether it is 75 degree or not so if you watch carefully this is exactly equal to 75 degree watch this line carefully if you watch this line between 70 and 80 that's 75 degree so we have successfully made a triangle when two angles and one side is given let's move on to the next problem construction of an equilateral triangle when any one side is given construct an equilateral triangle with sides 5 cm long now in this question you see there is only one side that is given and you know an equilateral triangle has 
all the sides of equal length so this is a very easy question let's use the ruler to draw the base 5 cm which is given here is 5 cm let's write it down now there is nothing to label with and there is no name in the question given so we know that the sides of equilateral triangle are the same so using the compass let's take the measurement 5 cm which is already drawn and now once we take the radius let's cut an arc on the top using the two end points of the line segment let's cut an arc from this point as well and there you have the intersection of the arcs it implies that the distance from that point to this end point and this end point to this end point are the same now we know that all the sides are same so let's write the measurement 5 cm here and 5 cm here now there is no name to the triangle but if you want you can label it so let's write it a b c we know that in an equilateral triangle each of the angle is 60 degree so by using the protractor let's measure each of the angles and see whether they come to be 60 degree or not so this angle we can see from point C this angle C is coming to be 60 degree exactly we can check the other angle angle B and uh, let's place it here align it properly and yes we see that it is 60 degree so once we see that two angles are equal to 60 degree obviously the third angle will also be 60 degree so we can measure it as well and uh, here you can see by putting it properly the angle is coming to be equal to 60 degree so a triangle is correct so that's all for today's lesson keep practicing to improve yourself all the best and thank you